Today, we'll explore advanced Excel tricks to make your reports clean and dynamic. Let's get started. Trick 1. Dot notation for clean dynamic ranges. Many users reference entire columns, for example, type equals select range, employee ID. When you press enter, the problem, referencing whole columns, you see extra zeros for empty cells. This isn't an efficient approach because it includes unused rows. Solution, dot notation. After the range, add a dot, press enter. Result, only used cells are included, no trailing zeros. When you reference entire columns, Excel fills empty cells with zeros. This looks messy if you use the data in formulas or reports. Solution, add a dot before the colon in your reference. All trailing empty cells are removed. No more zeros. Why do people do this? So any new data added to that column will automatically appear. Next, alternative. We are going to use one more advanced function called trim range. Type equals and select the names column range. When you press enter, the same problem. Referencing whole columns, you see extra zeros for empty cells. If I type equals trim range open parenthesis, Excel shows options, none, leading, trailing, or both. Now we not giving anything, so I just close the bracket and press enter. See the magic. Dynamic entry. If we enter any name, for example, Linda Park, it is added here. If we delete it, it's automatically deleted. So you can use dot functions or trim range. Trim range has extra options. You can trim only leading, only trailing, or both. Next, getting unique lists without zeros. Suppose you want a unique list of items but have extra blank rows. Let's create a unique list the same way. We are going to type equals unique open parenthesis and select the roles column up to the end and press enter. Now you see, you get the list but there's a blank C1 cell that may be causing a zero. Fixing the zero with dot. In the same way, we can add a dot, before or after. Then press enter. Test entry. Now, if I enter VK016, Linda Park, as admin assistant, you see it's automatically added here. If we change to Power BI, the role comes here dynamically if you delete, it disappears. So you can do this dynamically with dot or trim range. Next, quick employee report example. Let's pick a quick example of creating a report list. We are going to type equals unique open parenthesis and select the complete data set and press enter. Now we got the unique list. Next, to add the dot, that's it. Your dynamic data is ready. Adding sequence numbers. Now, let's add a serial number using sequence. Typing equals sequence function and use counta. Then select the employee ID range and subtract one. Close the bracket, press enter. Testing dynamic entry. Now if I enter VK016 Emily Park salesperson, it's giving the unique list and numbering automatically. If you delete, everything updates dynamically. Use this when you want to create clean, dynamic lists without zeros for dashboards or reports. Whether you're using unique, sequence, or referencing ranges, the dot notation and trim range help eliminate empty cells making your data neat, auto-updating, and easy to work with. Trick two, consolidating data with VStack and DOT. For example, you have data like region, sales rep, product category, electronics, and furniture categories. If you want to combine and set a data range that updates dynamically, 
as new yearly data is added. Let's use the equals V stack function. Go to the electronics sheet, select the entire range, including blank cells, add a comma, and then select the furniture range. Press enter. You see both data sets consolidated, but with extra zeros. Fixing with dot. The same trick. Just add a dot after each range. Press Enter. See the clean result. Next, using Trim Range. Alternatively, remove the dots and wrap each range with Trim Range function. Same result, no zeros. Testing. If you enter new records in the electronics sheet, they immediately appear in the consolidated list. If the formatting doesn't look right, select the properly formatted cells above. Control plus C, then use Alt plus E, S, T to paste special, formats only. Extend the formatting down as needed. Now test it. Enter a new record in the furniture sheet. It should instantly show up in the consolidated list. If you delete a record from either sheet, the consolidated data updates automatically. VStack with dot or trim range keeps everything clean and updates automatically as new data is added or removed. Trick 3. Last 13 months rolling data. You want to automatically pick the last 12 or 13 months from a list of dates even when new months are added, so your report is always up to date. Method one, old offset plus count a formula. Earlier, what we used was the offset formula, which is more complicated. Let's break it down. Enter formula, offset A4, count a, counts how many cells have data in that range. Select the month range, minus 13. This formula picks the last 13 months, but is complex. Enter A1 as the first cell of the month column. 0, 1, 1. Press F4 to make the cell reference absolute. Suppose A42A25 has 16 rows filled, so it picked the A3 row and onwards. If you want the range to expand dynamically as new months are added, let's say you type July 25. The chart or calculation updates automatically. To apply the same logic to the revenue column, copy formula, paste it using Alt plus E, then S, then F. Update the reference in the formula to point to the revenue column. Click OK and drag the formula down as needed. Ensure your cell references are absolute. Use dollar signs, so the range remains fixed. If done correctly, the range will update dynamically with no errors. That's it. Note, while offset plus counta is a powerful combo for dynamic ranges, it can be hard to maintain and error-prone in complex sheets. Next, let's explore a advanced formula. Method two, new take plus filter combo. Instead of offset, you can use take with filter, keeps only the rows where date is not empty. Select the month and revenue column range, then select only the month range, greater than less than double, double quote, right parenthesis, minus 13 grabs the last 13 entries from that filtered list. Example test. If you enter a new row for July 2025, it automatically slides the window July. If you delete a row, it readjusts back. Let's see next one. Even simpler and latest trick, if you want the very simplest. Enter formula, 
equals take function. Select the range, minus 13. Next, adding the dot after the range makes sure blanks are trimmed. In this trick, you learned three ways to create rolling 12-13 month ranges. You saw why take plus filter is easier than offset. You tested adding and deleting data dynamically. That's it. Use this approach whenever you want rolling monthly reports that auto-update as you add or delete data. Let's go to the next trick four. Dynamic auto range with number spill operator and formulas. Let's you use unique to create a list equals unique select division and country. Now you get a dynamic spilled range. Referencing the spill with number sign, if I click on cell equals F3, it only shows the value from that specific cell. Instead of selecting the whole range, you can just click the first cell and type number sign. This counts all values in the dynamic list. Next, dynamic auto range with index plus X match. Create a dynamic data validation list that updates based on header selection with auto updating serial numbers. Example, create a data validation list, select the data headers, add a serial number header on the side. Next, build the dynamic range selector. Enter the formula equals unique then index. Select the data cells range. For the row number, skip. Next, X match. Look up value, the drop down cell. Select the headers range and close brackets. Press enter. If you select drop-down options, it shows zeros for blank cells. Let's fix that. Add a dot in the formula. Now the zeros are gone. Next, for the serial number column, add the formula. Equals sequence count. Don't select the range manually. Use number sign to automatically take the full range. Press Enter. If you click the drop-down, it automatically updates serial numbers and data values. If you enter records like sales, etc., in the dataset, it automatically updates with serial numbers. That's it. So anytime you need to build dynamic reports, searchable lists, or interactive dashboards, you can combine the number spill operator, index, and X match to create ranges that automatically expand and clean up as your data grows. Next, trick five, count if with wildcards. Imagine you have a list of products in cells B5 to B14. You want to count exactly how many cells contain only the word biscuits, spelled exactly as is. The formula you will type is equals count if B5 to B19 with blank cells Enter biscuits. This formula checks each cell in B5 to B14 and counts only those that exactly match the word biscuits. So if a cell says chocolate biscuits or biscuits pack, it will not be counted because it is not an exact match. If you have one cell that only says biscuits, you will get one. Next, counting cells that end with biscuits. Sometimes you want to count any product where the name ends with biscuits. For example, coconut biscuits, health biscuits, and more. For that, you use a wildcard at the beginning, the asterisk. Before biscuits means don't care what text comes before, but the word must end with biscuits. Result, if you have seven cells ending with biscuits, this formula will return seven. Next, counting cells that contain biscuits anywhere. Example, next, maybe you want to count cells that contain the word biscuits anywhere in the text. For that, you use an asterisk before and after. The asterisks mean, don't care what text comes before or after as long as the cell contains biscuits somewhere. Example, 
Result, if 10 cells contain the word biscuits anywhere, this will return 10. So whenever you need to quickly count how many products exactly match a keyword, end with it, or contain it anywhere, you can use these count if formulas with wildcards to save time and avoid manual filtering. That's why Countif with Wildcards is one of the most practical tools for building flexible reports, dashboards, or inventory checks in Excel. That's it, we learned. Dot notation for clean dynamic ranges. Consolidating data with VStack and dot. Last 13 months ranges. Dynamic auto range with number spill operator and formulas. And Countif with Wildcards. I hope these Excel techniques help you save time and create smarter, more automated spreadsheets. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.